I made this. Hey, Bob. Hey, how are you, right? you doing? I always want to go over rubber seals. Every window, every Brenner window, has a different type of rubber seal. Some seals, if you come in close here, Lee, for a sec. This seal here is a wafer-thin, paper-thin rubber seal. Very easy, even for the most precision-type tool, to easily ride over if not taking enough care and attention. So, sometimes the tool and the user will need to work a little bit closer with each other. So, yeah. for example, we're going over and we're gonna do the motion here. As you see, that this tool has took all the water off the glass, but there's still water on the actual rubber, but the glass is actually clean, and any standard tool will easily go over this. It's wafer thin, it's, mm. it's like paper thin. So. If you're using this tool and you're aware that some seals are harder to work on than others, um, you just have to become one with the tool. Yeah. And it does take several days or maybe a few weeks to really understand how the tool works. What's unique about the liquidator? Bob? What's unique about it? Well, it, is a, it, it does everything, everything that a squeegee will do, yeah. plus all the extra bits that a normal squeegee will leave out. So I would say, on average, a squeegee, an average squeegee will get 80% of the water off. So the clips on the end of the channel are designed to... Hug, hug yeah. the frame. Yeah, and therefore you're not uh, detailing as much, right? Yeah, if you're spending all your time with the cloth, detailing your, your edges, especially on these very awkward, thin rubber seals, that's taking five, 10 minutes per hour out of cleaning the windows. If you can get a tool that can do 100% of the work and then just get your seal cloth to just finish off the, the, the runs on the frame, mm. you're gonna get your job done quicker, maybe 10, 15% extra. Mm. If we just take this off and we'll go on the inside of this door, it is a different type of rubber seal. But this rubber seal here is a vertical seal and we don't have to take now as much time and effort because we, as a window cleaner, we initially know that this is not gonna cause us too much problem, but it is still a rubber seal. We can go a little bit faster and know that it's always gonna catch that vertical seal. This is another type of thin seal, but again, it's a little bit of a different angle seal. And um, I'm just gonna show you a different type of seal once you're aware of there is different types of rubber seals which can be problematic. If you pan up, Lee, you see that there is some water on the rubber, but the glass, which is the important part, is completely dry, even up to the corners. And that is a difficult rubber seal to work on. And the seal. <laughs> <laughs> These are old aluminium type frames and the rubber seal is now perished away. So it's a little bit rough and a little bit ragged on the edge, but this tool will still handle the roughest or smoothest of edges. You pan in in a secondly. 
There is nothing on the glass to clean up. Found John the elusive window cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got this tool for the very first time, right? Yes. How are you Indeed. finding it? Very good. Yes. Why? Why do you like it? What's good about it? Inside, you don't have to wipe it with the. You know, yeah. Put up in the middle of it. You don't have any more uh, edge. Detailing. We call it detailing. Yes. With the. Would you buy this tool? Yes. How many are you going to buy? <laughs> <laughs> I have some in the van. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to save you any time on your work? Yes. Well, your English is a lot better than my Belgian. This is a new building and these windows are brand new. There's one problem, there's a little slight imperfection. If you come around this way, Lee, you can see there's a little slight imperfection on this rubber seal. But as long as you're careful, this tool will still come in, Lee. There's still no water, even though it jumped. I knew it was there, I could see it, so I just handled the squeegee. How does the squeegee work? Why, why does it stop the water? Okay, the reason why it stops the water is because the, the rubber length is exactly the same each side and as you can see it's flush so when it hits the side it's always catching at the right point. Oh, Whereas, what about the angle of the clip? Is that, how important is that? Well the angles are sort of angled like this. It's designed on purpose to push the squeegee rubber down. And, and, and focus in the most important part of the side of the window and the most important part of the squeegee to contact that side of the glass yeah. is the end. These are wooden windows and we've got some rough edges, bits of paint spilling over. and the liquidator coats very well. You can go quite fast on this window because it coats very well with these kinds of frames. Want a pan in, Lee? Sorted. Thank you. <laughs>